Hello! Let's go through a brief overview of some of the exciting new features and enhancements available in Jamf Pro 11.18. It's easier than ever for mobile devices that need to be reissued to get wiped and into the hands of their next user. Previously only available via the API, Return to Service functionality is now in the Jamf Pro 11.18 interface. In the general settings of a mobile device pre-stage enrollment, select the checkbox to allow use of the Return to Service option during device reset. A pop-up menu appears listing all potential configuration profiles with only the Wi-Fi payload configured. Profiles with any other payloads included cannot be used. Click Save and devices enrolled with this pre-stage enrollment are eligible to be wiped with Return to Service enabled. To wipe an individual device, from the Management tab of a device's inventory record, click Wipe Device. In the dialog that appears, select the checkbox for Return to Service during Device Reset, then click Wipe Device. Multiple devices can be wiped with Return to Service enabled using mass actions on a search result or smart group. Organizations utilizing Microsoft Entra ID as a cloud identity provider can now access group membership information from Microsoft Entra in Jamf Pro 11.18. In order to access group membership information, be sure Collect User and Location Information from Directory Service is selected in the Inventory Collection settings for computers and mobile devices. By creating computer and mobile device extension attributes with the input type set to directory service attribute mapping, now we can use member of and transitive member of properties. The next time a device performs an inventory update, its inventory record includes groups that the user assigned to the device is a member of. Using this information, we can create smart groups of computers and mobile devices for those who are a member of a specific group. These smart groups can then be used as targets and exclusions in the scope of configuration profiles and policies, and they can be used in the scope of blueprints, compliance benchmarks, and app installers. For supported Jamf Pro environments, including Jamf Pro 11.16 or later, configuration profiles via blueprints are now available. This enables administrators to configure settings like restrictions for computers and mobile devices in one place. For example, Drag the Restrictions component from the Blueprints library into the Declaration group and notice all devices are supported. Click Configure and then we can search the list of restrictions or click the Filters button and select a tag like Apple Intelligence. After configuring restrictions, click Save, then be sure to click Deploy. For more information and requirements, check out the Jamf Pro Blueprints release notes. Another addition to Blueprints made available earlier this month for Jamf Pro 11.15 or later is the Software Update Settings Declarative Configuration. When this configuration is included in a Blueprint, it overrides and replaces existing configuration profile methods for software update management. This enables the ability to configure settings like deferrals and rapid security responses for all supported devices in one place. Click Configure and make changes to settings as desired. When configuring settings like Install Actions for Automatic Download and Update settings, be sure to click Update to confirm those changes. Clicking Back does not save changes to settings. Once settings are configured, click Save, then Deploy. That's all for our quick overview of some of the new features introduced in Jamf Pro 11.18. Be sure to visit the Jamf Pro release notes in the Jamf Learning Hub at learn.jamf.com for requirements and details about the features we've covered and to review all of the exciting updates in this version. Thanks for watching.